the Beneteau Oceani 30.1, the small sister of the 35 one. As you see, uh, it has the same flush hatches and everything anchor related is uh, already hidden in the uh, down below. I love the handrails, although I'm not quite sure why they don't go all the way through, because especially on this one without the Beneteau arc, you uh, basically don't have, uh, don't have anything nice to grab onto for, uh, for your, when you're going to go forward. And you basically, and you also don't get the Beneteau arc on the 30.1 at all, I guess, space constraints. But I like the small details you see for your um, ropes not to damage your deck and whatnot. And we'll see right away what they have managed to do in the cockpit. So again, this tiny details you see protects your boat hull. This is a two cabin ver version, so you don't have any storage down here, uh, but you get large storage in the back. And also, as this is quite a lot, a bit narrow at nine and a half meters. You don't get any storage in the table, but you get this large opening table with, by the way, quite nice fittings. You also lose, uh, compared to the 45, you lose basically the bench in the back. Um, so you only have this place where you can stand. And again, I like the indicators, but I'm not sure why they put the throttle in the down there and not here as on the larger ones. And of course, uh, drink storage. Uh, cup holders are always nice. Um, these are nicely reachable from a helmsman position because of course at 30 feet, two cabins, it's meant to be sailed a little bit short-handed. And you got proper in there. And I actually quite like this small basing platform. It doesn't take away much and uh, you don't have to open it in the harbor because it's still uh, not too high that so you could step over it if you liked. And they put the ladder at the side. I'm not sure why exactly, but uh, I guess there was not uh, really space on the basing platform for that. And a nice handhold here, which usually often gets forgotten uh, to you for uh, for you getting out of the water. What I don't like are these double um, double locks. Uh, it's of course steadier, and this is of course a huge storage space uh, as uh, it's a two cabin boat. Remember, uh, but I also quite a nice quality detail. But I don't like there being two because for two you usually you need two hands. You see, I manage now with one hand, but often you would need two. And this just, um, you not, don't always have two hands on the boat. They don't seem to have a plotter in the cockpit, just a small instrument cluster here, which you can see through the whole cockpit over and your tiny, teeny, tiny winches. Uh, okay, you see, this is, this is a two-way door, basically. So this part uh, folds up and the other one you just put in, um, when you want to close it. I'm not sure why it's realized in such a way, but they will have had their um, reasons. Coming going down, you see, it's much more space on this handle than um, on, the, on the other one, on the 35. And the way down is again not too, um, not too steep, not too steep at all. Nicely done. This is a light oak interior, I believe they call it. And right of the bed, Ventilation is over the cooking space. And this seems, okay, they basically disabled opening the fridge from what I really understand, but it seems quite large. I'm not sure why this doesn't have uh, um, something to cover it up, but uh, it's not the shallowest I've seen, still quite deep. Although I'm not a fan of this one, of this arrangement, Basically, there should be something protective. Of course, when there is nothing there, it opens the space up. But basically, when I go here, when I somehow get... Uh, my point is, it's it would be easier to break. Although I have to admit, since it's quite sturdy, almost a handhold in and of itself. And you get... Uh, ah, sorry, I almost broke. And you get nice uh, small lockers in here. You don't get any side windows in your um, cabin aft, 
which is always a shame. They try to remedy this a little bit with uh, this lighting, which isn't done quite nicely, but still. A window would have made this a space where one could uh, lay down, read a book, do something. Uh, without a window, it's not such a space. Although it has more standing room, actually, than the 35 one, because I have more space here and a tiny window here. Also, I'm not sure why they didn't let it go all the way and make it unopenable, or at least let it go all the way, as in many other models, which I found to be quite valuable, quite a valuable addition. And coming back here, you get this large uh, bathroom. As you see, it's a two uh, cabin version, so this is actually has ample space. Um, here's your holding tank in a quite usual position. And here's your shower, which way, well, I would have liked it fixed a little bit better, but I like the ambient lighting. It's uh, really, the general rule is light surfaces, not space. Down here you get all your sea valves, actually reachable. And um, as you know, I'm not a fan of a lot of wood in where you shower. As you see, you are supposed to put a curtain here, which I, uh, I'm also not a fan of curtains in the shower. Um, but um, so to protect all this. Uh, but I also would have liked a little bit of a fancier uh, sink here. Although the fixtures are quite steady. When you compare that to what's used for in camping buses, for example, this is uh, worlds away from that. So quite nicely done here, but I would have preferred a dedicated. It just looks a little bit more quality. Uh, but all in all, it's of course a hugely comfortable bathroom. For people who know they won't be using, they will be only four people or six sometimes. It's just a huge addition. This one doesn't have a, a dedicated chart table, which is well, okay at uh, 30 feet. Uh, interesting is they have a few gauge right here. You get all your instruments. Oh, this is a different thing. Um, and you can also open it for all your wiring, which is always nice. On the Jeannot we've been on, you actually had to unscrew two screws to do it. Uh, but I'm not sure why this had to be done in that way. And you get this sitting space, which goes the whole width of the salon. I often don't understand why. Let's see what's here. Okay, you have basically more space here. Maybe you do have a chart table, but it's somehow foldable. Um, you see, this, you can easily sit six to eight people here, although this boat only has sleeping for six. I've seen many boats where they, um, where they skimp on, um, on sitting areas, basically. They make it small or make two smaller ones instead of one larger one. And then when you are on a boat with more people, actually the capacity of people, you just can't really get uh, them to sit together because there is no space, at least not comfortably. And you have small storage here. And as usual, I like the windows. They just open up the space. Although they sacrificed a lot of storage here. I'm not quite sure why, I guess, just to open the space up. Uh, to feel, make it feel roomier inside. And you get large storage down there. And of course some storage down below. As on the 35, you get these double doors, which, as I already told you, I believe are just a must yeah, yeah. on boats under 40 feet, because they let you, and it's closed up, you basically have your privacy, but when you open them, you have this space which go goes all the way forward. Then again, windows. This is this is a no-go. There should be two windows there to make this livable. Otherwise, this is not a place where, where people will spend some time. And they sacrifice the floor, basically, the wooden floor. So there this goes a step down. But that way, I can, I can more or less stand in this space which wouldn't be uh, possible without more, adding more height to the boat if they wouldn't have done this nip solution. Yeah. But again, this is nice. This is nicely done and nice storage here, but the windows are just a no-go. Every room should have windows for it to be livable and comfortable for your crew. On the other hand, I, like the, um, I quite like the uh, light layouts. And of course, let's say did add windows 
in here. Um, on this is Benetos Oceanus 30.1.